guys, welcome back to All Up In The Business, where we empower teen producers and their parents. I'm Joelle and... Oh, I'm sorry. You talking to me? That's funny. <laughs> it's rolling. Alright, stop It's rolling. Stop and stop I'm stop. gonna put this in the video too. today's video we're going to be asking each other five different questions that we haven't even seen each other's questions right about our business yeah so it's going to be kind of open and you get a chance to hear some of the things that i want to know from joel uh -huh. and some of the stuff joel wants to know about me yeah. and uh, i'm a little bit scared because joel seems really excited to ask me these questions I'm not really excited but you know actually my brain to really think about these questions oh. all right so uh, this is rock, paper, scissors, Steve goes, who goes first? Okay. Only one, one round. Ready? Wait. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Alright. All right. I'm going first, right? Alright, go first. The first question I have for him is, what is the overall goal for Ideas to Life? Wow. Big question. <laughs> Hard question, too. The overall goal for Ideas to Life is to actually become a company that runs outside of me where we have coaches that are trained in the ideas to life system and are going around helping people bring their ideas to life also i'd love to get it where we have different ideas to life chapters where people are meet having meetups to encourage each other to do things they've always wanted to do so that's the overall goal it becomes something so much bigger than me that goes around the world Period. okay my first question for joelle about her business is um, what has been the response from your friends about your business? So most of the, like most of the time it's like really you have your own business and stuff like that But I'm very shy about it. I don't tell a lot of people about it Like I don't tell a lot of people about it at all But I told this girl today and she was like oh my gosh that's really cool and stuff like that And like a lot of people ask me like the prices and be like oh I want some and stuff like that A lot of people are very oh everybody's super supportive I haven't met a negative Nancy yet but like everybody's super supportive and stuff like that so yeah so you guys start telling your friends at school yes i'll do it all yeah, right next question <laughs> next question where do you see your business in five years Ooh. I'm, I'm, She's, I'm not, in five years i see my business um actually having its first uh, office space okay um having some employees and having curriculum that is being used in schools and by others, by adults, in working to bring their business to life. So I want it to be known and to be putting out materials so that my goal in five years is that I'm not the one, the only one, like I don't have to be present always or in touch with someone for my work to get out there, but I'll be creating materials that kind of go around. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, ooh, she's making me think. Ah. And those of you watching this, make sure you kind of follow me at Kimon Heights. All right, next question. How has running your own business changed you? Um, it has changed me in a way that I, I'm trying to be more determined. And like, um, like it's not, it's not too hard. It got hard sometimes to balance school and, um, and my business. So I had to stop procrastinating. That's one thing I'm still doing. And I'm getting rid of in 2020 but yeah I have to stop procrastinating like sometimes like when I'm when I come home I'm trying to put my phone in the drawer and do my homework right away because sometimes I'll just sit there and be on YouTube or Instagram and do stuff like that you know what I mean but how has it changed me it changed me in a way where I'm more determined hardworking, and more patient yeah and I must give you all credit one day I saw her come home put her phone in the drawer and I was like what are you doing she said she wanted to go work on her homework and not be distracted. So, kudos to you. Thank you. And like, this doesn't have to go in the video or whatever. But like, when I got up to go to my other teacher's class today, my teacher, she was like, what do you want to do when you grow up, right? I was like, I want to have my own business and stuff like that. She was like, because when you were walking up there, I was like, oh my gosh, she's so hard working and stuff like that. She was like, if I have my own business, I would hire you. And that's cool that you want to be your own boss. You should tell her I have my own business already. No. Yeah, okay. Next question. Next question, Joel. Oh, my turn? Yeah. Okay. 
and we'll keep that in the video. What do you do when you are not motivated to work, but you still have to? Ooh, that's a hard one. What do I do when I'm not motivated to work, but I have to, okay? Uh, that's the hard one, have to. So there are a few things that I'll do, um, and these are some tips for anyone. If, according to how much time I have, uh, sometimes I'll take a timed break. Like I'll say to myself, you know what? I'm gonna give myself a break for 20 minutes and I'll set a timer. And for those 20 minutes, I can do whatever I want that may help me recharge. So because I work from home, secret, there are times I'll take a 20 minute nap. Joel can tell you I can time a nap. Or I'll take 20 minutes where I may go for a walk. That's rare. Uh, but just rare. do something else, right? Rare. 20 minutes and then then set another 20 minute timer and do work for 20 minutes because I figure even if I don't have motivation I can go for 20 minutes and then usually what happens is I'll hit repeat on that 20 minute timer and do another 20 minutes and somewhere along the way I move from okay I can't do this to getting a little bit of what they call a flow like you get a little rhythm yeah. and that helps so that's just some trick that I found out using the power of 20 minutes Oh, my turn. Okay. I know. About to ask you another question. About yeah, I almost forgot. So here's a question. Who is your biggest celebrity business inspiration? Probably Rihanna. Rihanna. Why? Because she has like her own like um, fancy beauty. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, probably Rihanna. Okay. Tell us, tell, tell us a little bit about what, what you like about Rihanna. Mm, I don't know. She seems like really, really cool. Okay. Okay. And she has her own line. I think that's really cool. Is that something you'd like to do? Have your own line or something? Yes, I would like to have my own like. Okay, I was thinking about starting a lip gloss line in twenty twenty, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. But I would like to. I don't know if I should say this. Well, you're gonna diversify. It sounds like do new things. Yes. And we don't want to give it away. And like branch into the beauty area. Okay. The beauty community community a little bit. Okay. Good. Good. So slay all day is gonna be adding some new things. All right. Hopefully. All right. Next question, Joe. Next question for you, sir, is. Uh, okay, let me do this one first. How long did it take your business to come off the ground slash be stable? Ooh, that's a, a good one. Um, so, I'll say about a year for the business to be stable, where there's steady stream of business income, but because of you know, I left my job to start my business, but I had other projects I was doing. So I started doing some contract work for some people uh, because uh, my past job, I was a pastor. So I did some travel speaking. So those things helped while I was still kind of almost figuring out what this business was going to look like. And that's one of the challenges for anyone, just getting more and more clarity. And I'm still developing clarity, right? I'm still figuring it out, but I believe that clarity comes through action and as you get clarity you can you know move be you know move faster things will develop so it took about a year to be stable and now we want to move it from stable to you know soaring so that's my yeah that's our goal <laughs> See, that's the theme of this period yeah. all right next one Joel here we go has there been a day that you thought about quitting and what made you what made you want to quit and how did you keep going so that's almost like three questions one. Um, I don't think there I don't think there's ever been a day where I wanted to quit because that's like there's no risk of me doing this mm. and it's like like what else am I like I don't know I like if I'm older right and I'm doing a business I could be like oh, I'm gonna quit because it's not working right now so I can just go work somewhere else I, I don't have to work anywhere I don't have to bring an income or anything like that so I don't think there's a day that I have wanted to quit but there's a day that um there's a day that i've been like and eh, like i don't want to do anything today mm. but there's not necessarily been a day i wanted to quit okay that makes sense. That's and cool. the reason i wanted to not do anything today is because i'm tired i just like i don't want to do this anymore like when we did the the this event which was gowns for her we had to make a lot of nail sets because we we're giving them to the girls so i had to stay at my table painting nails and I was just like I don't want to do this right now but 
the thing about my what I'm doing is I'm passionate about it so that doesn't happen too often unless I'm very overwhelmed okay makes sense good good stuff yes. all right yes sir last question for you is what is the biggest lesson you have learned Ooh. biggest lesson you have learned is to be flexible right to be so this is gonna sound weird to be determined determinately flexible right so be determined means I, I believe in my business. I believe I'm supposed to be doing it. So being determined, I don't quit. I keep going. Being flexible means the what I'm doing, the who, like some of the elements of business, I switch. I switch strategies. I switch approaches. Being flexible, what's working at one time may not be working at another. Mm -hmm. So I'm determined that I'm doing this, but I'm flexible with how. That's the biggest lesson. All right, here's my last one for you, Joel. Um, best advice you can give another person, not just a team who is thinking about starting a business. Um, best advice? I'm still figuring everything out myself, but off the top of my head or the thing that I can think of right now is definitely do something that you like or that you are passionate about because like you don't want, okay, if you're working for yourself, you don't want to do something that makes you unhappy or you get bored of mm. doing like if you work for yourself like if you like fashion branch into the fashion area make your own clothes do something like that that you actually enjoy so you'll be putting out better quality products that you enjoy and like i don't know it will it will motivate you that yeah, yeah. yeah. you will have like more fuel to do what you are doing i don't know if that makes any sense that was great advice all right if you're gonna work for yourself at least enjoy doing it yes yeah all right Good. Um, listen, we asked each other some questions. We love to hear your questions. Yeah. So please post them below in the comments to this video. And we'll do a video soon with your questions. Yes. So if you're watching this, don't just move on. I Stop. Type your question. question in the comments and we'd love to answer it. And uh, go follow Joel at Slayer Daniels with two S's at the end. And follow me at Kimon Hines with one S at the end. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and we appreciate everyone who subscribed so, yes. so far. Share it with someone. Make sure you do what besides subscribe. Hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That's right. And remember, when a teen starts a business, everyone in the family is all up in the business. Say anything. Bye. <laughs> Do you say